case, hope you're having a great day today. It is a new day. Today is gonna to be a restock my house day. So I've been doing like using out my flour, using out my sugar and all my spices. And I'm like, I need to one of these days fill everything back up. And sometimes people do that after grocery shopping. I just did not because I've had a busy last couple of weeks. And so I'm like, today's the day to stock everything back up. So we're gonna do that today. Does that sound good? That sounds great. But I also wanna give you your encouragement for the day because we all need encouragement. It comes from scripture, Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And I think that's such an encouraging, a good scripture because like, I know a lot of people deal with anxiety and fear and worried about what's gonna happen, maybe worried about your kids, worried about your marriage, worried about life, worried about the world, worried about the economy and all of that. And you're thinking, how am I gonna be able to get through these things? And the God tells you over and over, do not fear, do not be worried because the Lord God goes with you and he's gonna fight your battles for you. He never will leave you. So your question is gonna be, do you have any fears or anxieties that you have to surrender to the Lord today? So take a minute and think about those. And it's always good to reflect and think about times when you felt God during challenging moments because we've all had them and it seems like it's overwhelming, especially when you're going through it. But if you can look back and go, yes, he was with me through that. He was with me through that. That's a good reminder to help you get through this next season. Your action step today is gonna to be to confront your fear with confidence, knowing that God is with you. So we're gonna go forward today, knowing that God is with us, not walking in that fear, having that faith that he's with me. He's definitely with me. I have a, there's a song, we just went and saw a Josh um, Wilson concert, and he has a song called Things That I'm Afraid Of. I had to look up the verse. It says, there's no place where my demons can't find me, but just wait till they see who's standing behind me. And we got to remind ourselves that because we've got a big giant army of the Lord standing behind us, protecting us, but you got to walk through that. You got to go through it. It seems scary and it seems awful, but if you just stay there and go, okay, I know he's got me. I know he's got me. I'm going to get through this. You'll get through this. All right, let's get on for a great day. I got so much filling up to do. Let's fill up some gas. Okay, first thing to start out today is coffee. I have not had coffee in my things for a long time because I was waiting to get my little scooper here. And I'm like, oh, I'll do it for a video. This will work out. I'll do like a restocking video. So this day I was up super early because I had plans. It was a busy, I have actually, I filmed ahead. So I was like a little bit busier and I just needed to get a video in for you for the day. So I'm like, let me just get up super early. So it's still dark outside and let me get the little things I need to get done in the house. I do need to restock. It's one of those things I went shopping and then I never stocked anything up. So I was like, okay, now is the time to get everything done. So I love having my Mavericks coffee here and I love putting it in reusable pods. It just works really good, tastes really good, and it's delicious. <laughs> good coffee, morning coffee for me. So usually I've been doing like one to two cups a day, so not too much. I'm trying to do the cold stuff, but I just haven't like had the need for coffee yet in the afternoon so that's still in the refrigerator but we will get to that one so i just uh, realized i needed a few more so i said let me count and figure out how many more i was going to add into here so this worked out really good it'll be filled for a little bit of time so and then i thought well i'll just wipe off my keurig here and then fill it up with water our pitcher doesn't fill it up all the way so I'll, and then it takes time for it to refill up in the refrigerator so i was like hmm so i just went over to the sink and just filled up with regular tap water to pour it in here so it can be nice and full so that it'll be full for a few days because there's nothing worse than getting your coffee. I don't like that the Keurig, it actually stops. Like it doesn't sense that there's not enough water. So it just like, just stops brewing and goes through your cup. And I'm like, no, because you can't just re-push it. You can, but it does get more watery. So I try to do like the smaller size if that happens, but it does. And here I'm gonna put the extra coffee in this container. I had to laugh. This glass jar, I found the lid yesterday and I'm like, it was in a weird spot. And I'm like, where is the lid at? I'm like, I don't even know. So I saw it. I just don't know where it was at. So I just end up sending my counter. It's still sitting here by the end of the night with uh, no lid on it. <laughs> I found a plastic lid. I just put it on top. I'm like, surely the lid will show up somewhere in the household. I know it will. And then I just put the remainder in a plastic bag because mm -hmm. it was only a little bit in the... Um, in the in the container so and then i have down here we have a bunch of vitamin c the kids like to drink this so um they put it in their water i like to drink it in my water bottle too so we usually just have the pack the boxes in here so i want to put it in open them all up and throw them in here nice and neat and then i've got my tea in the middle there that is like a raspberry tea that's tasting really good lately that's one of those things i enjoy and then i had oranges here and so i thought let me switch it out for the tomatoes that were just sitting on the shelf so i kind of was moving in a pattern i did that whole little coffee stand area straighten the bread i didn't show everything and then i was going to move to this closet 
that this is all of our baking stuff. So I've been running low on everything, just using it up, which is a good thing. So I thought, let me get everything out of here and then we'll fill it up today. So I had oats here. We I bought these oats at the discount store in North Carolina for so, so cheap. And so we haven't, I still have, I think five or six of these left. And the containers are nice. They're not just paper. They're like nice hard plastic. So they have definitely been good. So I just, the other ones were old fashioned. So I just get to put the scoop on top so we can kind of mix it in. But it worked in the brown sugar. I had a big giant bag, but um, I figured I'd use the small ones in here because we don't use it as much. And then the only thing I didn't fill up is powdered sugar because I still had half a container and I didn't um, want to put it all in there because I don't use it that much. So my flour, definitely going through my flour, which is awesome. Um, so I just filled this up in here. I like to have it out of the bag and into a bin, especially living here in Florida because it gets warm and bugs, all those things in the mountains the same way. But I'm here especially. <laughs> We don't need any gross bugs in the flower spray because you can just kind of pound it down to make it uh, get nice and flat so you can fit everything in there. So this worked out. These containers are awesome. I got them on Amazon. I have them linked in my Amazon store. The black one well, with the black lid is a dog food, pet food container. They work great because they have a little seal on there and it's good. So I put this in here. Last month I left it in just the bag and just closed it, but I didn't want anything crawling into it. So I put it in a plastic bag and the sugar, we didn't use up that much sugar. So I poured it in here and I'm going to take the bag and pour it on top. People say you should switch it around, use the old stuff first, but it's, if you store sugar in a bucket, you can store it for like a year. So this is like last month and then this is the new month. So I know we'll use this up. I'm not worried about it going to waste. We'll definitely be using it up. I opened up in a container of olive oil. I still had a little bit left of my other one. I'm like, why did I do that? So I just consolidated them together. Chocolate chips, we got some mini ones and we got some regular ones from Aldi this time. Usually I was just buying the big container from Sam's Club, but they were a little bit cheaper at Aldi. I mean, cents, like literally pennies cheaper. So, but I like having the mini size ones. So I just got a smaller container here and put them in so we can have them for our cookies, which works out really good in the pantry. And then I was moving Maxine's dog food here. And then I put her treats in it so everything's nice and organized. And then I'm starting to do my taco seasoning here. I like the McCormick's recipe. You can go to their website and use it. So for my little jar, I figured times four fits in there. I had a little bit in there already. And so um, I only need to do like times three of the recipe. But chopsticks work really good for smashing stuff down. I have onion powder in it. The onion powder gets hard in the jar. I don't think I'll ever, I will never, I won't get it anymore. I'm like, I can just use the minced onion and I think that's gonna work just fine. I don't mind having little pieces of onion in stuff. So I'm gonna just do that the next time. So I was definitely not doing a clean job doing this. I have a funnel. Oh, I have a funnel to do all this, but I was just like, oh, I'll just cut my hammer around it and do it. <laughs> so making a big mess. Definitely not aesthetically pleasing to do this, but it worked. I got them all filled up and then looked in my pantry. It was good because I had bought stuff, like I bought sage, thinking I didn't have any. There was a whole bottle of sage and sage is something I don't use very often. So there was already sage up in the cupboard. So I'm like, it made me be able to organize it a little bit better and kind of see what I have so I know it's a lot better that way and we were just kind of accumulate for a little bit there and it kind of just all got mixed together so I was glad to be able to stick it together love the chopsticks for smashing everything down this works out really good this is cream of tartar I was gonna definitely put it in there just to make sure I know that I see it and have it and their um, ranch I usually keep it in the container but I thought I'd put it back in my glass container so I can um, see it these are our bullions I'm just filling those up even though there's some in there, it's from the same container, so it's not like it's older, newer, that kind of stuff. So I just put them all inside here. I like the smaller ones to be able to grab. It's just easier, not like the big bulky container to have. And then cornstarch is something else we use a lot of. And I found parsley. I was like, ooh, totally forgot my parsley. And then I didn't, I had stickers I bought a long time ago, I think on Timu, and who knows what I did with them. Probably threw them away. So I just got a black Sharpie and put down the name of them in there. I'm like, that's okay. And there's my new salt and pepper dish. <laughs> I was glad to fill it up with the lid. Bummed that I broke my last one. Sorry, Nancy. But I got a new one, so that was good. So I'm just organizing my stuff up here. I see my camera is moving slowly. <laughs> It was going to tip over. And then restocking is always a good thing to do. I don't mind having these in the drawers here. And then I had a couple pastas. Um, Celentani was one that um, I totally forgot to restock on. That's one we really like. So I had them all across the top, but I was like, there is no room. So we have mini shells up there as well. We don't usually eat those that much, but that came with the mac and cheese that we get for Jensen. So I've been pouring them in there. So I was thinking, where am I going to stick this? So I ended up just putting it back here behind it was a little bit of maneuvering but this works good pasta and rice and beans cupboard for us 
And then my bags, this works out. I was gonna get one of those organizers, but I feel like our drawers are so small, it's not gonna work. So on the right, I put my big giant ones, and then I put sandwich bags, and I put quart bags in the middle, and the snack bags in front, and this is good. Good for organizing. Under the sink, just a little quick straighten. Under here, I had a few um, of the dishwasher pods. Those things last forever, I feel like. And then um, I got some new stainless steel spray. It's like five bucks at TJ Maxx, and it works so good. So my other one was still half full, but I saw it, so I'm like, I'm gonna grab it because it's there. And I got some new shampoo for Maxine when we went as well. It was Burt's Bees, so I thought that would work really good. And I tried to stack under everything today, paper towels, um, cleaning eraser, Okay, we're getting stuff done, so next thing I'm gonna do is trash cans. I just got all new trash cans for all the bathrooms. We have these kind right here. These worked for a little while, but the lid, look it. The spring got broken, so the lid doesn't, doesn't do you any good. So I went back to old-fashioned trash cans that just you step on and it opens up. So we got these ones right here. Much better, look at slimmer. Don't have to touch the top, just touch it with your foot. Open up and inside, a little paper. And this will even come out as well, Maxine. So this is going to be replacing our bathroom trash cans. Okay, these trash cans work out really good. I was glad. Something a little bit sturdy and good for the, all the bathrooms. We've had those other ones for a little bit, and they are just definitely, they get broken. Because, you know, that happens when you have kids and people, everybody push them. And so this worked out really good. So I was just filling them all up. And then I had the kids bring me down the other trash cans. And then we um, put these inside. And I like that these are slimmer too. That kind of works out good. We had different size ones in the bathrooms. And so um, bigger ones and smaller ones. But the slim ones, they fit right next to the toilet. And they do good. I wasn't sure how to put these bags in here. I'm like, what's the best route to put these in? But I realized there was a hole on the side to push in. <laughs> so this was good. And so the kids just, we got those on there. We got four of them. So we have, we have four bathrooms. So they worked good to just do that. And then a couple of the trash cans that the lids weren't broken. We had two that were not. So those got moved up to the kids that just had like regular open garbage cans. So they got to upgrade there. So I'm like, it just definitely got to move around. And then the bottom of some, since the top was broken, I was able to use and um, use it for some stuff that Greg uses in the garage that can, so nothing went to waste except the broken lid. So that worked out really good. And then I had the Autumn go take him around. So here's her taking it around to the bathrooms and filming it, putting it into place. Trash can number one. Bougie. Then we have trash can number two. some cleaner stuff and the magic eraser under the sink. <laughs> I love it. They did get put in everything away. I had to laugh in the girls' bathroom. There was trash on the ground. I'm like, ooh, did you pick up the trash on the ground and put it inside there? I hope. <laughs> so here I can use up that Mr. Clean. I just filled it half full and we put water in it. Those are going in the bathroom and I'm trying to use up this green soap because I don't like it as much as I like the blue soap. So I'm filling up my... Um, pump soap that's on my sink and just getting it filled and it's one of those things where it fills up with air and bubbles and it just wants to fall over the inside so I'm trying to like carefully put it in there and then I got it all over my um, brush which was in my scrub daddy and scrub mommy and then my washcloth because then I was still able to use it for washing dishes and then I got these flowers at um, Marshall's when we went shopping they're really bright they're so bright Brooklyn's like they're very Florida vibe I'm like yes they are because we have actually these in the well we don't have these specifically a lot of their neighbors do and they're just pretty so they're bright pink flowers it's fun I'm like, I would feel like they're too hot pink, but they're definitely what the flowers are here. So I'm doing this. I could go out to the garage and get some metal cutters, but I did not. So I'm just cutting with scissors and bending them back and forth a thousand times. They were so full. I wasn't sure what I should have done here. So I started cutting the flowers off so that the stems would fit in here better. So it took me a little bit of figuring to make it work, but I love having flowers on my like little shelf right here. And I was like, well, I could buy some. Sure I could, but I'm like, you know what? If I get some fake ones, I can just trade them out and then uh, just be able to mix them up a little bit. So I've got these here. It just took me a few minutes to kind of shake them back and forth a thousand times <laughs> to break the stem. I have the wire cutters. They're right in the garage. I just have to go get them. And then I ended up putting some water in them and just set them on the shelf. I'm like, and I thought it looked pretty. It just makes like a little bright to your day. You know, it's like one of those little things in life. You don't have to. No, you don't. But it just brings a little bit of smile to your day, a lot of happiness. And I'm looking at it. I, I went through it a million times. I'm like, pull the flowers, move it. What do I do? <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing. But I like them. I like the pink flowers. I like the pink colors doing the accent in the kitchen here. Just a pretty, pretty color. Brighten my day a little bit. 
And then dinner, I made it easy dinner because I was heading out to get my nails done. So I've got beef stroganoff. I was cooking noodles. I cook meat with um, beef bouillon and cream of mushroom soup. And then I mixed it all together and we put a packet of sour cream in there. That was dinner. That was dinner. I put it in the slow cooker and then I had to leave. So I was kind of in a hurry getting all this done. That's why today's video is going to be a little bit short. I had to... Um, drop Brooklyn off this morning and then I ran got my car cleaned and then I actually went to Walmart I needed to get um milk I was completely out of milk for Jensen he's been going through a teenage boy drinking milk so I had done that and I only had a couple hours that I was home so I was trying to get all this stuff done here before I head out the door the butter was so hard so I'm trying to shove it in here really well <laughs> Just let it soften. So we have that instead of getting um, tub butter. And then a quick cleanup in the refrigerator just to kind of see what I have. And then we had eggs. So I ended up putting the eggs on the top two because they were the newer ones. And I still have old ones from last month on the bottom. So that way we can kind of use them up. But this way when I go do baking, they're here all ready to take out. So it worked out good. It's like we've been using up food, doing good with everything. It was a good day organizing and filling back things back up, even the pickles. Because who knows how we got two jars opened. All right, so I'm going to close today's video because I've got plans today. i got nails to get done. got an afternoon out, so it's going to be a nice, relaxing day for me. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. We'll do some more stuff. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.